just be aware that the truth comes out. Yeah, we've got the sunshine. Okay, it's going to expose anything that happened, all of the obstacles, anybody that was in the way here, any of these people that were causing this conflict, whether it was out of jealousy, whether, you know, whatever happened here, it was like all of these obstacles happened in order to let all those scenarios play out so that people would be able to see who people are. Okay, because uh, I believe that this partnership, it's such a magnanimous project that these people had to take the time to kind of get to know each other and see each over, over, see each other over time to realize, okay, who they are and what they're made of. Right. Yeah. There's going to be a marriage here. Okay. And I really feel like, um, okay, there's three scenarios I'm getting. First of all, this couple might be getting married finally after a long time, and it's going to be a huge celebration here. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Um, I also see the marriage and the partnership happening and it's going to be celebrations. And this is divinely given here. This is going to help a lot of people. Um, I see like some kind of even a clinic that helps people get off medications and get onto more herbal, you know, like alternative stuff, um, sanctuary, um, retreat, um, conference center, right? Like that, that might be how you're paying the bill. I don't know. Okay. But there's going to be a marriage between in this partnership here. And when I mean that it's, it's just, it can be, you know, like a, a partnership, but it's divinely given. It's given in love. It's not going to break, right? It's not fragile. Okay. And it was just temperance. Like the alchemy was needed. Okay. The time was needed to bring this in. Anything else here? Yeah, cups are just going to overflow here. This is kind of the present energy that I'm getting. Like um, the mindset energy is this nine of cups. Everybody sees the potential here. Okay. I think there's a little bit of concern about whether these obstacles, whether it's too much, um, whether this couple is going to handle it. This, the, you know, this couple, the two, the part, the one partner that was really excited about doing it is kind of sitting back and going, oh my God, if we bring this up again, or, or my, my significant and other going to, and I going to have to go through this again. Okay. Um, and I, I, I think that, you know, I really, the first thing out was I got the marriage of this couple. I think that they've solidified their bond that that's not going to happen anymore. This stuff, at least between this couple. Okay, I think there's going to be a message coming in very soon about this. All right, might be at the time during this huge, you know, work time, harvest time. Excuse me. Yeah, we've got the emperor here. Spirit is stepping in here for this. Um, this particular card, the emperor is, has to do with, you know, spirituality as well. Like this was, this is a spiritual contract in the making between these people. This is something that is magnanimous, magnanimously supposed to happen on a spiritual contract level because it's going to help a ton of people. That's why it's taken a while to do this. Um, I believe that King of Wands is learning translating into the king of swords here is going to hold up the boundaries necessary against whatever oh my god these cards keep flying whatever flack whatever crap whatever crap this is is like is like little kids fighting like i'm jealous so i'm gonna wow look what fell on the floor like i want to do that you know you know how people see something in you and sometimes it triggers them like even if it's a gift they see a gift in you okay and it triggers them, right? That's this energy. Like they rage against you because rather than going, oh my God, I like that about that person. I need to work on that in myself, right? Okay. We've got the, we've got three nines coming on here. Nine, nine, nine. Look that up. Okay. Claim this power, claim this victory here. All right. Because this is going to be 10 of pentacles here. This is a spiritual tree of life here. Again, I really, this is why I was called to do this read. This is, 
the earth needs this project and this project is going to provide a model okay a model for other people to to do and to use we've got the seven of cups here we've got the six of pentacles and we've got the king of pentacles yeah okay right now it's in the growth stage even the idea of it is in the growth stage the money needs to balance out like that's the other thing this this king of pentacles is trying to get the money together to do this and it's about overcoming this obstacle here overcoming the betrayal because these people that were chatting even these like I, I don't it's like underling energy because i don't view people that way like in status it's like that energy of just you know how people like if you're around somebody that's kind of popular or something like that you keep you get people around them that are repeating stuff that they weren't even there for right it's like they just want to be part of that energy right it's that kind of underling energy yeah we've got the sunshine here and this is going to balance out this king of pentacles here which i believe is this king of wands and this king of swords i believe this is all the same person here they are going to figure out the money for this project. They're going to they're going to do that aspect. Okay, let's get a read over here on this other energy here, this magician. Can you give me some clarification, please? Yeah, this person has gone through it too. They're building on solid ground. They're staying balanced. Okay. Theirs is more of an alchemy like spiritual type thing like they're going to bring the idea and the messages from spirit to do this project is what i'm hearing we've got a page of pentacles coming in we've got the empress here they're being divinely led here these people over here we've got the priestess right they're being divinely led and that's their job while this king of pentacles is getting the money together okay hierophant i can't make this stuff up <laughs> This is divinely inspired here, okay, which is why it's taking a while to, to set it up here, okay? Hierophant, okay, counterpart, divine masculine of the high priest, counterpart, right? Notice the three keys, carries all the knowledge here, the spiritual knowledge. This project is divinely given. We've got the king of swords again, and we've got the death and rebirth card this oh my god i can't even tell you we've got the marriage card again this is exciting i wish i could like like i see people coming from all over the world to come to this place and getting healed here okay this is <laughs> this is so beautiful i'm gonna cry i mean that's the energy of getting i'm gonna cry here nine of pentacles this is it this is like just right of the light before the dawn here. Like this this thing is so ready to be birthed is what I'm hearing. It's been baking a long time. We've got that knight of swords energy coming out here. Yeah, people are going to try to come in here and the universe is saying nope. <laughs> right? Nope. No, like you can forget about this, right? Like, mm -mm, no, that's why they pulled out this King of Swords first, because this is what came out of the deck first, right? King of Swords is taking care of this down here. Okay, this is angel stuff. This is creating a sanctuary, body, mind and spirit. This is just I wish i wish that you could see what's in my head and it's all natural like it's um it's eco-friendly i mean like yeah ten of cups like like the forest is even gonna help like there's gonna be like areas in the forest where it looks like a structure is already built okay like um yep can't make this stuff up right coming in soon high priestess okay empress queen of pentacles right all the same cards here 
Five of Wands, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. This is just going to be huge. I, I'm literally, I'm, I'm seeing, I, I just want to cry. Out of beauty. Um, <laughs> it's like some kind of divine light school and it's completely self-sustaining. And, and you, you're going to be saving lives, saving souls, saving lives. And it's not going to be hard. Like they're going to, all you're doing is providing a safe space for people to do the work themselves. Okay. And it, you're taking in people that because they have such creative genius and might have been left on their own, like in the cold and abused and whatever, like there's such creative genius there that's just waiting to come out. And, um, so there, you know, there's like, it's like that fool carries the bindle with the untapped knowledge, right? Yep. King of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Yep. Lover's card. This could also, this could also lead to a, uh, some kind of a permanent soul contract partnership with somebody for somebody. Yeah, these are all the same cards keep coming out. The Emperor, the Sun, okay, King of Wands, Four of Swords, Page of Swords, right? Same stuff. Okay, so I don't know why I was supposed to do, I mean, I do know why I was supposed to do the reading. Somebody out there needs to understand that it's time to make the move here. Okay? I believe that this King of Pentacles, this these this couple is going to reach out to this person because I believe you know they've been kind of staying in touch, and they're going to be like, "Hey, are you ready to do this yet? I think we have it together. We've got all things work together for good." Yeah, I, I feel like these people are going to be reaching out. There's kind of been some communication back and forth. I feel like these people are going to be reaching out and saying, "Hey, are you ready to go? Because I think I have the money to do this." We've been thinking about that. I feel like this has been going on for like seven years, six years, seven years. Okay. And that these people are going to be like, hey, we finally have the money to do this. We want to start doing this. But, you know, we want to bring you in. Like, are you ready? Can you, can you come and help do this? Okay. All right. Something like that. Take good care of yourselves, collective. I hope this has been helpful for somebody. Um... Can't call to do one more card here. I'm trying not to make this such a long reading. Intention. Intention is simply allowing the will and the mind to align and move in harmony. May I always focus on the highest. My intention is that all the divine's wishes for me come true. It's about setting intentions and then it's going to come together. Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.